Lieutenant John Torek had been a member of the Chicago Fire Department for 26 years. He graduated from the academy in 1997. He was also a Navy veteran who served in Desert Storm. His son became a Chicago police officer just last month. Torek's death comes as the department mourns the loss of Jermaine Pelt. Pelt died while battling a blaze in the West Pullman neighborhood early yesterday morning. He was an 18-year veteran of the department. CBS 2's Tara Molina continues our coverage now. Yes, Tara, this is going to be a long road to healing for members of the fire department and this city. That's exactly what experts are telling us following a really heavy couple of days for the fire department and first responders across the city. I can't tell you how this impacts us losing two members in two days. Impact felt by an entire department, by first responders across Chicago. This, the second fire station to wear black and purple bunting in just two days, memorializing another comrade lost. First, Jermaine Pelt, now Lieutenant John Torek. Please keep his family in your prayers as well as the entire Chicago Fire Department. With the loss weighing heavy for so many, psychologist Dr. Carrie Steiner told me her office is already hearing from Chicago firefighters. A former Chicago police officer for more than a decade, Dr. Steiner now works with first responders specializing in trauma therapy. They do go out every day for people that they don't know and they risk their life for people that they don't know. And most people would never do that. And that's why you call 911. Dr. Steiner told me the weight first responders are feeling now will unfortunately be felt for a while. And that's something everyone in the city should keep in mind. With firehouses in times like these, often turning somber. A lot of times firefighters can feel like I shouldn't have a good time or laugh or enjoy myself because he's not. And he's not here anymore. And um, the thing that I remind um, first responders about is that they're doing this job so people can live and he would want you to do that too. And so it doesn't mean that you don't care about him. If you have a smile on your face or you can enjoy a joke, that is what you guys fight for every day. There are a few official organizations that are setting up memorials and ways that you at home can donate to the families of these fallen firefighters. We've put more information on all of them in the story that's up on our website right now. Reporting live on the city's near north side, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Tara, our thoughts are with the entire department tonight. Thank you very much.